Um, my research is about reusing models. Uh, models are often uh, trained in one specific context and they don't apply well to slightly different contexts. I am working on Bayesian optimization of hyperparameters of uh, machine learning algorithms and also of other algorithms for combinatorial optimization, etc. Um, and in general on automatic machine learning. In my studies I'm working on learning text representations in different languages so that uh, it's easier and cheaper to do machine translation. So we are working in uh, data analytics and largely we are using semantic web data which is growing very fast and we want to derive some intelligence from the existing data in semantic web. Well, GPUs are certainly very useful for deep learning. Um, you just get quite quite large speedups for um, big data on um, GPUs. They let me work faster and get results in fewer experiments. Huge amount of data needs to be processed, to be processed parallelized. And also it's very useful when we have GPU, we can uh, test our uh, ideas and concepts in quicker experimentation level with GPU. Uh, GPU recently has been uh, very affordable and uh, with the GPU you can have many, many cores so you can use it for uh, parallelizing your code uh, if you compare it to any other solution. I think deep learning is a fascinating new field. It is a lot about finding out what intelligence really is. We are finding new ways to, to build intelligent uh, algorithms. It's very sensitive to hyperparameters but yields great results for large data sets. For me, using deep learning means that I don't have to be that familiar with the problem domain. Deep learning, I think, is like going to the ocean. The deeper you go, more chances to get pearls. And that's what, I, for me, the deep learning is.